Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to day 61 of my carnivore diet. So today is the 1st of March. So I've just finished two months on carnivore diet and it was a leap year. So an extra day in February as well. I will. I'll do a special two month recap video this weekend. It's Friday night and I haven't had time to do it. I've been working and we've gone out and done some other stuff. So I will do that this weekend just to sum up my thoughts for the first two months. But what I did want to mention is, is that I've decided that I'm not going to weigh myself every day in March. I'm just going to, I am going to weigh myself, but I can do it without actually seeing it and it can just log it in my app. So as long as I do it that way, then it should be fine. And I'm just not going to focus on it because everybody says stop weighing yourself. So I'm going to try it for a month and see how I get on. But I would like to have the data afterwards. So I don't know what my weight was this morning. The last weigh-in was yesterday. And at the end of two months, it was 14.8 pounds lost. So, which is again a stone, which is what I was talking about the other night. So pretty happy with that. You know, that's seven and a half pounds a month, basically, on average. I sort of like the that it's not just coming off too quickly. Um, I think seven pounds a month is is actually a lot, and I expect it to slow down, particularly as I do more in the gym. So hopefully I will offset some of the fat loss with some muscle gain, and, and that will make things better. The other thing, though, that I wanted to talk about tonight is, you know, I've been struggling the past couple of days with, because we had a bereavement in the family and all that, and the the desire to comfort it has been really strong. Well, if those are like, if I put it in sort of video game terms, like tonight I faced like a major boss in that I went to the cinema and I was thinking about it and, and we went to go see Dune 2, which, by the way, is amazing. So if you haven't seen it, if you ever read the books or have any like of science fiction whatsoever, just go see it. It's amazing. But anyway. I, I was thinking about it. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen a film without eating popcorn ever, anywhere, ever. And I didn't think it was possible. So I knew I was going to struggle and also feeling a bit weak and needing some comfort. I was really prepared to eat some popcorn I just figured that I would get there, maybe I'd smell it or whatever, and I just, I would really, really struggle. So I had a big meal before I left. So literally within half an hour of going to the cinema, I had a massive bit um, of ground beef and I had some cheese as well. So I was full, so I wasn't hungry. And I went and I did have a latte. So I had some, basically a glass of milk with some coffee in it. But I also figured that that might satiate me enough that I wouldn't end up eating popcorn. And I made it. I made it all the way through and I didn't. And that's like the film's like two hours and 45 minutes. So not only was I testing myself, but I was testing myself on like a super, super long film. And I did it. It wasn't it was a little bit like when I was standing there, I did have the thought I'm like, I could just have a small one, right? Like, even just get it plain with nothing on it. And, but, and I was just like, no, no, that's not how you want to be. So I successfully beat the boss. Probably one of the biggest, I'm sort of downplaying it a little bit, but it was a, it was a fairly easy boss battle. I have to say the comfort eating was probably the, the big boss. Not the final boss, but maybe close. Um, and I'm sorry if you don't understand any of these references, but, um, but that's kind of how I feel. So it was a big test. Let's put it that way. And I'm really proud that I actually made it through without having anything. And, you know, I, I did get by with a latte. It was a small latte and it was a decaf. So at least I didn't have the caffeine and it was just milk. But anyway, that's my, that's my battle I'm fighting right now. The, the war I'm fighting is against milk. And, and some dairy, but basically nothing else. So that's that's my only even 
slight bit of cheating is is having that which if you're doing lion diet yeah okay technically you know that's definitely not on the diet carnivore diet i know you can have some dairy so dairy seems to do fine for me and as long as i don't have too much of it it seems to be all right but we'll see anyway so first of march new month month three so we're going to get started i I'm going to track my food and my steps and my macros and everything like I've been doing, but I'm just not going to weigh myself. I'm just going to do it. I can just weigh it on the scale. I don't have to. Basically, I can just get on the scale, let it register the weight, then get off the scale. And then all I have to do is just open the app and close it and it will sync the data behind the scenes, but I don't have to look at it. So if I just do that, then I'll be able to keep track of everything. And then at the end of the month, once we get there, we'll do a weigh-in and see on the last day of the month what the weight is. And then I can go back and fill it in backwards. So that's the plan for this month. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So everybody have a great weekend. And I'm going to go to bed because it's 11.40. And uh, I've got to get this out the door before I before I can go to bed. But yeah, I'll see everybody later. Have a good weekend. Hope your diets go well. Bye-bye.